Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. And five days ago, I posted this video about the Open Core Legacy patch installed on a MacBook Pro 2011. The problem I got is these black rectangles on the settings. I'm very happy to announce that with a new Open Core Legacy Patcher 0.6.2, they fixed this problem. And actually you can see it right here. This update 0.6.2 resolved my problem resolve Intel HD 3000 black box rendering issues. And let me show you about this Mac. If you go to the Apple check on system settings, you can see that I don't have the black boxes anymore. Everything is working. Look, they fixed the issue guys. Everything is working fine. Look at this. My concern was the trackpad that tap to click. I wanted to tap to click. That's very important. All right guys. So they fixed that. Now everything is beautiful. And let me show you what I'm running. I'm running a MacBook Pro 13 inch early 2011, the Intel Graphics 3000, and I'm only have four gigabytes of RAM. And I'm running Ventura 13.2.1. And look at this guys, it says updates available, macOS Ventura 13.3. I'm not gonna do this one guys, because I don't need to do it. You should be able to do the over the air update with this security patch. If you are running the Open Core Legacy Patcher version 0.6.1, it's very easy to do the update. You just have to download it from GitHub. I'm gonna put a link on the description. This is the file, the Open Core zip file. So you're gonna download it. Once you download it, you're gonna move it to the application folder. Let me show you. This is my application folder, and this is the Open Core Legacy Patcher. And you can see here the Open Core Patcher 2, because we have the previous one. You cannot install it on top. You need to install it next to it. So you're gonna have an Open Core Patcher 2, because the other one is still gonna be there, all right? And then you open it, and then you install it. You follow the procedures, and it's done. Because even if you try to open this one, look, let's try to open that Open Core Patcher. It's gonna tell us that there's a new version, look. Update available for Open Core Legacy Patcher. Current version 0.6.1, new version 0.6.2, okay? You can actually click on View on GitHub. It's gonna send you to the same page. I'm gonna put in the description where you can download the zip file, okay? You download it, you install it, and then you're gonna run the post-installation patches, okay? And that should fix the black box problem. Now, I do have something I want to tell you guys. In this computer, it's amazing that you can run Ventura, the latest version. It's awesome. I want to say thank you to everybody involved in the development on open core legacy patch it's great what you guys did but i have a problem if you go to the apple store by the way the computer is running smooth you know everything is good this is my only problem if you go to top free apps you're gonna see that the top free apps are garage band is number one so let me open it and i said oh cool look it's opening welcome to garage band i'm gonna open the auto save okay so everything's working right create let me click here to see what happened. And look at that, unable to initialize graphics. This typically happens when running inside of an unsupported filter machine environment or when running on an unsupported Mac. And this is what's happening, guys. We are running this in an unsupported Mac. We are running a version of GarageBand that is not supported with this computer, even though we have the latest version of Ventura. Okay, and this is the other error that you're gonna get, GarageBand quick unexpectedly. I guess because of the graphic cards, I don't know. But in this case, I'm gonna have to click OK. Enable to initialize graphics right away. I cannot even do anything. And look at this, guys. Look at this funny thing. Look how the graphics are playing right there. This is definitely have to be with the graphic card. Look at this, guys. Funny stuff happening right there. Okay, enough. I'm gonna click Ignore. Okay, and it's gonna close the program. Now, another very popular software, iMovie. Let me open it. The only upgrade I did on this computer was the SSD. I put an SSD, but the RAM is still four of RAM. iMovie open, I'm gonna click on my movie. Create new one, all right? Create new movie, and it closed. And it didn't even give me an explanation why it closed. I'm gonna open again, iMovie. And look at this, guys. iMovie quick and expectedly. We cannot use GarageBand, we cannot use iMovie. The number two top free app is Pages. So I'm gonna open Pages. And the good news, guys, is that Pages works perfectly, all right? You can open a document. Come on, open. Yeah, you can open a document and you can change whatever you want. From Direct. And you can save it if you want, okay? And it's gonna save it. You can close it. Look, you can close pages. I'm gonna go to documents and right there, double click. 
and it opens on pages. So pages are working perfectly, guys. And this is GarageBand version 10.4.8, okay? 2023. So this is pretty much the latest version of GarageBand version 10.4.8, but I cannot use it. So iMovie version 10.3.5, probably the latest version, but we cannot use it, so. And this is the one we are running right now. Open Core Legacy Patcher version 0.6.2 on my MacBook Pro 8.1. And if you click Post Install Root Patch, it's gonna tell me that all applicable patches are already installed, okay? When you restart the computer, I'm gonna restart the computer. There's a logo that I don't like. Let's see if it shows up, that one. I don't like that, you know? I think there's a way to, to get rid of that on the settings because I did it before. I just want you to see how long it takes to restart the computer. I did the upgrade of the SSD. I replaced the old HD with an SSD drive, but I didn't upgrade. Look at that, what is that? You have to press again. What is that? Okay. And now we are in. So it didn't take that long, right? It's great that we are running macOS Ventura on an unsupported Mac, but it doesn't do anything if we cannot use our favorite software. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to roll back to High Sierra because on High Sierra, I can install and use GarageBand and iMovie. And this is what I recommend you to buy, guys. I bought it at Amazon. I think I paid $16 for two USB drive, USB 3, 32 gigs. So that's enough for you to install the open core patcher or whatever you need to install. In this case, in one of them, I have the open core legacy patcher. And on the other one, I have High Sierra. So I can bring it back to life, okay? Every time you are trying to install open core legacy patcher on an unsupported Mac, this is the first thing you need to create. You need to create a backup of your computer because chances are you're going to need it eventually. All right, guys, I'm going to restart the computer. And whenever the Apple logo came up, I'm going to press on option. Okay, restart. And I'm going to press option. That's going to give me the option to select what do I want to use to restart my computer. And I'm going to select, of course, this one. Install macOS High Sierra. And here, guys, the macOS utilities. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this utility. View, show all devices gonna select my hard drive and I'm gonna erase it guys completely erase it MacBook Pro MacBook Pro all right I'm gonna click erase so we're gonna delete all the garbage why do we delete it because we want to do a clean installation of High Sierra okay so it's deleted I'm just gonna close it and I'm gonna install High Sierra yeah macOS High Sierra all right agree agree uh, it's here and I'm going to go back to macOS High Sierra. Why? Because on macOS High Sierra, I can run GarageBand. I can run iMovie. I can run everything pretty much. I mean, the old version of the software, but still I can run it, you know, Let's press it up. I'm going to put customize settings and this is the beauty High Sierra guys, the operating system that I didn't want. Now I want it because I know I can run software on it. Okay. And I'm just going to eject my USB drive. I'm gonna do a little changes here, which are the trackpad. Always put it on tap to click and make it a little bit faster. Okay, also the app expose. And here I also like my menu with magnification. Uh, I like it to minimize so it can go like this, you know, how smooth. How smooth is this High Sierra running, guys? So I love my High Sierra. Let me see if I have any updates. There's an update of iTunes, Safari, so I'm going to update all. This is going to take me a while. I just wanted to show you that even though I was able to upgrade to Ventura, now I'm coming back to High Sierra because in High Sierra, I can use the software I need. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. That's the best way you can support me. And I'll see you on my next video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. All right. Take care, guys. This is your friend, Alex. Thank you.